Good boy. Hogan is training for a competition. This four-year-old lab is making a name for himself as a big air jumper, or dock dog. Dock dogs run down a long pier and leap for distance to retrieve a floating object. Hogan's personal best is 21 feet. The record is 26 and a half feet. If Hogan does well at tomorrow's competition, he'll be one step closer to the great outdoor games. Last year, he was just one dog away. Mark Stewart is Hogan's owner. Hogan loves to jump, he loves to work. I guess there's some money involved, but for us, we do it just because he loves it. That's why we jump. Still, if Hogan wins, he could bring home $4,000. Mark and his wife, Carla, adopted Hogan from a rescue organization as a buddy for Fryer, their golden retriever. But Hogan was insecure around other dogs, and he attacked Fryer. It was at least six months before the dogs became friends. Hogan used to be so nervous around other dogs, his fur would fall out. Mark built up his confidence through sports. Today's competition is being held at an indoor pool. Hogan's never done an indoor jump. He's not the only dog with pool issues. Forty-eight dogs are competing today. Judge Shad Field has been following Hogan's progress. Our world record is 26-6. So as a national champion, he's got a little ways to go. But as far as being able to make it into the top 12, I think he's got very good chances. The audience settles in, anxious for the competition to begin. The distance is measured from where the dog's hind quarters enter the water. Hogan uses a speed technique. He runs at top speed down the dock to retrieve an object from the water. During practice, he gets extra lift from jumping over a bar. Good boy. The best jumpers boy. use the chase technique. Where you run the dog down the dock and you lead the dog up in the air, to get maximum carry. It's called the chase technique. They chase the ball up in the air. He hasn't mastered that yet good enough for competition, so we've got to revert back to our old way of doing things today. This is Hogan's main rival, Dwight, another black lab who took bronze at last year's great outdoor games. But there's a new rising star, a border collie named Gabe. Gabe jumps an impressive 20 feet. Smoke that one. That's a 20 plus. It's Hogan's turn. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. This is Mark Stewart and Hogan. On it. See it. On it. Go, 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 go. His speed is good, but he doesn't get enough lift from his front legs. His jump is only 17 feet. Even though Hogan's off his game, he still made it into the finals. I love watching Hogan jump in competition. It's just still emotional for me, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's time for the finals. The pressure is on. Even though the chase technique would give Hogan the lift he needs, Mark sticks to their tried and true speed technique. But will it get him far enough to win? Last jump just put Hogan in second place. He traditionally gets stronger as the day goes on, and he's just getting more confident, and uh, he just loves it. Hogan's chances look good, but Gabe, the young upstart, has yet to do his final jump. 21 feet, three inches. No one manages to top the border collie. Hogan finishes a proud third. He and Mark will have plenty more chances to qualify for the great outdoor games.
19-6 is certainly not his best effort. However, I was really proud of how he adjusted. You know, he got stronger every single jump. Uh, his confidence grew. I've never seen Hogan have more fun before in an event. I really look up to Hogan. He has truly overcome everything that, that has, has faced him. He's changed my life, and I've changed his, and we're best buds. Right? Yeah, we're best buds. Yeah. Yeah.